We've just stepped aboard the Haynes Hunter 565 offshore. This is a fantastic trailable package for a family with small children who have a keen focus on fishing. Plenty of room on board and plenty of accommodation to keep the family happy. So the Haynes Hunter is a fantastic offshore vessel. They've made these holes for many, many years now. They've got a nice deep V in them. They cut through the chop exceptionally well and they handle brilliantly. It doesn't bang at all, courtesy of the deep V up front, and it also turns exceptionally well. It's nice to know that you've got a boat that can deliver performance when you need it, but also is comfortable enough to handle the rougher conditions that you'll encounter offshore. Personally, I'm a mad keen fisherman. I could easily see myself in this boat, heading offshore to chase some snapper, maybe the odd marlin session, tuna in winter as well. But really, it's a bare boat at the moment. It's just come from the factory. You could spec it up however you like. Sounders, outriggers if you wanted to on a boat like this, more rod holders, downriggers. The options are endless and limited only by your imagination. When you're underway heading offshore, the most comfortable position without a doubt is the standing and driving position. It allows you full view. You're protected by clears. You're not gonna get sprayed in the face. And if you didn't have the clears as an option, you could duck behind the windscreen anyway. When the flat water's on, you could easily sit down here. It's again, very comfortable. Steering wheel with in reach quite easily. Could do with a footrest here as an option, but still, regardless, it's a very comfortable position to drive from when it's not super rough. Overall, at 5.65 meters, this is a fantastic little package for anyone who wants something that's manageable and capable as an offshore boat. There's plenty on board that you could do here. One of the fantastic things about this offshore series is this wide open cockpit. There's plenty of room here. It's nice and deep. So if you're worried about your kids toppling over the side, it's highly unlikely. This is almost at my hip here, but there's also a nice tow recess so that you can fish right up against the side of the boat and use it to brace yourself. Down the back here, you've got a live bait tank and on the other side, there's an access way. If you're worried about storage on a boat like this, down in the cockpit, we've got ample storage either side for all the nicks and knacks you could possibly need for a day on the water. There's also a lovely step here to access the walk around part of the cabin. It's a quite a thin walkway. You can get one foot on there, but it's also protected by a bow rail, which you can grab onto for a little bit of extra stability. The fantastic thing about half cabins like this Haynes Hunter is the room that you've got up front. In here, you could lie down, you can store all your fishing gear, or the kids could get out of the sun for the day. And I could very easily have a nap down here if the fishing's a little bit slow. Once you've finished your nap downstairs, it's a simple process to grab the anchor. You do it through this hatch here. It's nice and safe. You're not gonna fall in. And it's all within reach. Essentially, a lot of rope will fit in there. You've got a nice strong bowsprit to pull the anchor up over. And again, as I said, safe and functional. Powered by this fantastic Mercury 135 horsepower four-stroke engine, this boat turns in fantastic performance. It's just at that right size for a family where they can all fit on board. And if they're keen anglers, there's plenty of room down here in the cockpit. You can also throw some tubes in and have a great day out on the water.